My fellow Ghanaians, I have made it to Ghana. I'm thinking, oh, I want to go home. I want to see Ghana again. Uh, people are shy. People are loving. I've never been exposed to like this before. Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking in. If this is your first time here, thank you. You're welcome to this amazing family. Please click on your subscribe button if you haven't done so already. The subscribe button is just below this video. Please after subscribing, I'm also going to beg you to click on your bell notification you will be able to see the notification bell after you might have subscribed please turn it on so that each time i upload the youtube will notify you about my new upload okay thank you to my amazing subscribers you guys are the best thank you for constantly supporting me and loving me the way you do honestly do not take that for granted oh, today's video is a very interesting one like everybody knows that ghana is on the top list of tourist countries in africa okay so when it comes to tourism in africa right now there is no how you can call the top five or top three countries that people have been visiting in the last five to ten years without mentioning ghana and yes this is what this video is all about today i'm going to share people's reviews about ghana how they were treated how they feel about ghana if they encourage other people to visit ghana for holidays or for tourism ghana is making money out of tourism and this is a very welcoming development if you ask me living in ghana i constantly see how people troop into ghana to enjoy their vacations okay people from different countries nigerians and africans other african countries are not excluded on this list because i know nigerians visit ghana on a regular basis like yes i know nigerians love to visit ghana i also think that if nigerian government takes their tourism serious they can as well do what ghana is doing the disadvantages on nigerian part should be insecurity and i bet you that is why other countries like foreigners are trooping into ghana because security is number one thing that ghana will guarantee you foreigners are loved in ghana if you have been in ghana before honestly you will understand what i'm saying but if you haven't been to ghana when we talk about security and being comfortable being homely in ghana i know you might not really understand it because you haven't been to ghana and that's why i always say in my video any country that you know you haven't visited please do not talk down on them do not talk down on their food or any other of their cultures if you know you haven't tried it before ghana is one place that i know for sure security to a certain level is guaranteed and of course you are going to be welcomed by people ghanaians are very welcoming i think this is one of the best things i enjoy in ghana ghanaians will take you as their number one priority if you are a foreigner i'm not saying this to spice things or but this is just the truth so i'm going to leave you to enjoy the video of people who have taught ghana and they are giving their reviews and <laughs> i just want to leave you to watch this video okay thank you so much this video of Ghanaian youth see the way they are just vibing that's what they call Jama in Ghana. In case you're a Nigerian trying to go to Ghana, you see this kind of thing. This is how this is the height of happiness. These people are boys who went to chill at a post site. They are all total strangers. Just because they are at the post site chilling, they decide to chill together. And this is what they about Ghana. That they dance, as they dance, they go round. They will dance around that place hundred times. And if more boys come, more boys will join. And that's how they are. These people are fun, they are easygoing people. This is the only country where you see everybody is trying their best to obey the rules and regulation. Ghanians, they fear to fight for road. They are scared because once police catch you, you will go station, go right there. Once your name don't enter that police station statement, they get some kind of things, not be do again. Only the statement, don't be saying they don't put you for jail, don't be saying they don't arrest you. Talk less of when they arrest you. If you they drive car, when we say they come out smoke for road, they go arrest you, you go police station, arrest this man. That to put their name for police station book, they don't like them. So they don't like do anything where go tarnish their name. 
in the midnight you drive for Ghana like this. Traffic light so red, car no they road, wait until that car so green for the move. They are law-abiding people, they are fun-loving people. That's why nowadays foreigners will people they run, go Ghana just for December. Before the Nigeria they come, but now they don't send us again because we want, we want to use our own grid, kill ourselves. So they, they run, leave us. Country where we say come out CCTV cameras for Lekito Gate to massacre youth during answers. They are not going to make foreigners come. You think, you think they don't have sense? <laughs> Stop playing. That's why they're generating a lot of revenue from tourism. So big up to Ghanaians and you Ghanaians, you keep staying happy, man. You people are showing the other African countries what happiness brings to a happy youth. Because this generation in Ghana, are people with this happiness, with this generation, they come. Depression for key Ghanaian youth. I'm telling you, because the hardship there everywhere. And if that depression kill you, they go party on top of your head. As a youth, they go wear red and black, carry out their body, they dance up and down. Party on top of your head. Even you will die, they will pain you after the day, it will pain you. The kind of food they will chop on top of your head. They will say people will meet the love of their life, people will meet their destiny helper, people will knock for backyard of your funeral. You, the way it will pain you. So don't die. If you're in Ghana, just keep being happy. Depression is real. When you go to Ghana, it's different. Like normally, when you go on a holiday, you might go to Dubai, you might go to America. You have a, the time difference. You might have a late night where it's four a.m. their time. You're like, oh, let me go to bed. Ghana, bro, four a.m. You're saying, where is the next spot? Let's say four a.m. Then at six a.m., people are saying, what? You got eighth? Jesus. All right, cool. Let's go eighth. What's the other one? There's eighth. There's Front, a... back, play. No, there's twitch. another one. Twist. Twist. Yeah. yeah. The, the two late ones are eighth or twist. <laughs> but the people at nine a.m. You're getting to the club. Man on tables. <laughs> Starts like this 9 a.m. It's crazy. You, you can sleep at like 10 a.m. Yeah, 10, it's 10, it's 11. called Dirty December, guys. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> My fellow Ghanaians, I have made it to Ghana. I'm currently in Accra exploring the city. I just arrived yesterday from Togo and I can't wait to explore your country. I know I have a lot of followers from Ghana, so comment down below this video if you're from Ghana and then maybe we can meet up. Anyway, I'm super excited to explore Accra. I'm currently here at the Independence Square in Accra. And uh, yeah, let me know where are all my Ghanaian followers. I'm so excited to be here. I've wanted to visit for a long while and I know that a lot of you guys are following me. So greetings from Accra. I'm excited to explore your country. This is a message to any black person worldwide. I think if you are going on vacation to Tulum and Cabo, that's great. But if you have an opportunity, a chance, a moment to visit Africa, Ghana, Lagos, Tanzania, Ethiopia, then you should take that chance. There's nothing like being surrounded by black people, understanding your culture, feeling welcome, feeling safe. It's nothing like what America will teach you that it is. It's nothing like what we learned about it. It's better, it's bigger, it's beautiful, the people are kind. So I encourage you to go understand your roots, find your people, and love them the way that they would love you. Wow. It's so interesting to just walk in the streets, guys. I honestly don't even know where I'm going here. Hello, hello. hello. How are you? Yeah. Most people are very friendly. <laughs> no. Hello, hello. How are you? Ah, people are shy. People are laughing. They don't know I'm even more shy. I need to get used to walking around with the camera. Hello. Hello. Not a tourist. I was too shy to ask where she's from. Hello, hello. Shoes. Yeah. Selling shoes. People are often selling shoes here. It's always you always think, oh, I want to go home. I want to see Ghana again. Especially the food. <laughs> the food. You enjoy the food. Yes. Especially fufu. And can't you, can't you, can't you, okra soup. Can't you go fufu in I went to Ghana last year during December with a group of friends. And I'm glad I went last year because the think pieces and conversations I've seen on this app about why black Americans are going there. I feel, I feel right.